My intro on YouTube was such a hit last week, I thought I'd turn it into a mini-series. My sons were impressed I even knew what YouTube was or where to find it. And I even got a 5 ranking, which was, you know, I have to thank Mom for that. But first, a couple of program notes, if you will. Uh, one's a compliment to you for all your engagement in the online discussion. I printed off the threaded discussion uh, for both groups, and it was almost 200 pages. I think you can see why we needed Diane and Brad to join us here. But that's not my point, and my point is certainly not to discourage your active and thoughtful participation. I just wanted to say thanks. The second thing is just to say there's a lot of overlap between our authors this term. I like that. I often tell students that nothing is true until you say it three times, and repetition's a good thing when you're learning. But look for the similarities and the differences. What Schultz calls the transmission view, Griffin calls the objective view, Dayton calls it the scientific approach, and then you have the cultural interpretive humanities view, depending on the author. I've asked you already which approach is most comfortable for you, but notice I haven't asked you to be comfortable. As you read about the theories, you may find approaches valuable that are different from the paradigm you think you prefer. Be stretched by this, because stretching is a good thing. By the way, Griffin tries to locate all these theories on a continuum in his last chapter on page 518. You may not agree with where he places them, but it's useful to think about. And there's some other nice resources in the back of the book, too. Abstracts of all the theories, a uh, list of feature films that illustrate them, some things like that. Be sure to check it out. We've only looked at one theory so far, although Schultz mentioned Burke, but Griffin tries to unpack Borman's theory of symbolic convergence in Chapter 3. Now, when I was in graduate school, I decided to use this theory as a major plank in my dissertation, partly because I didn't think anyone on the committee was really familiar with it, but I've never even heard anybody talk about it, so I figured if push came to shove, I could bluff my way through it. Or so I thought. As it turned out, my committee chair went to school with Borman, so let's just say I still had to answer the tough questions. Borman, by the way, has applied some of his theory to the Great Awakenings and other religious movements, so if these things interest you, you may want to read more of his work. But here's the hard thing about Borman. We're tempted to think, because he calls the idea that brings people together a fantasy theme, that it isn't serious. Careful not to think of fantasy here as, well, fantasy. I mean, this is serious stuff, and the stories, jokes, and metaphors a group uses are often the glue that holds them together. It says about a lot about what they value and why they associate. You can see this if you look for it. Sometimes you'll be in a group and suddenly the whole thing changes. The pace picks up, people get louder, there's energy flowing everywhere. And when it happens, take note of what triggered it and what people said and did. What were they talking about? What were the images? You've just experienced a fantasy chain reaction. Take notes and pretty soon you'll be a communication researcher. Seriously, I hope each of you will notice the theories we study all around you in the weeks to come. One final note. Next week we'll cover a lot of theories, about a dozen of them. They're all interpersonal. It might be a good idea to think about a couple of situations before you read and then try the theories out on those situations as you go along. There'll be a paper after that, and this would be good preparation. Be sure to read the introductions to each unit and section. They're really helpful. Finally, I'm going to see both Schultz and Griffin at a conference in mid-November. Email me if you have any questions you want me to ask them, and I'll see if I can't videotape their answers. I mean, the show must go on. So that's it for now. Thanks for all your hard work and 